Hey everyone, welcome to Marvel Medicine. My name is Dr. Chaudhry. This lecture is about cardiac tamponade. This is a huge topic on the USMLE where they can ask you tons of questions. The first thing I want you to do is to visualize it. Imagine the heart, the ventricles, atria, and imagine the way it fills during diastole and contracts during systole, like a balloon. Now imagine the pericardial sac, a circular sac surrounding the heart. Try to get an understanding about the compliance of this sac. It's not very compliant at all. Well, what does that mean? It doesn't expand much. It's not stretchable. If you want to understand compliance better, check out the lecture here. Now that we have those images visualized, imagine a pericardial effusion. Imagine fluid surrounding the heart in this sac. If there's a lot of fluid and that sac isn't very compliant, the sac will fill, right? Now, if that sac is filled, do you think the ventricle has room to expand during diastole when it's filling? Nope. The amount of room it has to expand and fill reduces. So what do you think it does to the end diastolic volume? Goes down. So what happens to stroke volume? Goes down. Do you see how you can expand and extrapolate information? What do you think would happen to your blood pressure? Decrease. The other thing they love testing is the concept that the pressures inside the four chambers equalize. What does this mean? Imagine the heart with the fluid around it. Now imagine the ventricles and atria trying to fill up during diastole and expand. Notice that they really can't because the fluid is blocking them. Since that fluid is surrounding the heart all around, each chamber won't be filling differently. It will fill the same around, meaning the diastolic pressures will be the same. This is a huge giveaway. The discussion of tamponade also leads to the discussion of pulses paradoxes. What you need to know is in normal conditions with inspiration, your blood pressure will decrease, but not by much. Pulses paradoxes is when the blood pressure decreases more than 10 millimeters mercury. Why does this happen? Visualize the heart. Now imagine inspiration. What does that do to interthoracic pressure? It decreases, right? Negative pressure acts like a suction or vacuum of sorts. With this negative pressure, venous return increases to the right side of the heart. If a patient has tamponade, and now more blood coming back to the right atrium, that means more blood going down to the right ventricle. Now, once all this blood gets there, the ventricle will want to expand, right? Well, on the lateral side, it can't expand because the fluid is blocking it. But look at the septal side. What happens is that the increased preload causes the septum to kind of curve in. When that happens, what do you think happens to the left ventricle's volume? It decreases. So what happens to stroke volume and cardiac output? Decreases. That's why you have the exaggerated drop in blood pressure.